Hey guys, you're welcome back to Thidey Fashion YouTube channel. I want to say Happy New Year to you guys. You guys are so wonderful. Oh, you are my people. Thank you so much for always being there for me. And I pray that this year is going to bring you joy in the name of Jesus. And everything that you plan to achieve this year, God will help you to achieve them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, this is a new video for the year. And of course, it's going to be very simple and short. It's... Um, about how to cut and sew iro and buba. Iro and buba is a Yoruba traditional uh, um, style and it's a very, very simple style to make. Let's get started. All right, guys. So now I'm going to be using two and a half for my iro, which is the wrapper. You can use two yards for your wrapper. You can use two and quarter. You can use two and 16 inches for it or two and 15 inches. So it depends on what you actually want. It depends on how big you are as well. The very first thing I'm going to do is to remove two and a half yards from this okay so once i'm done cutting then we'll come back to the booba which is the blouse part and probably the scarf so i'll be explaining further on that this is my wrapper and it's two yards and 20 inches okay my length is 27 inches from the top here i'll measure 27 inches you are going to fold it based on this 27 so all I will do here, I will just hold my 27 this way and fold this over, okay? So what I'm trying to do is to ensure that I have 27 on this top fabric and the one down, okay? Can you see? This is my folded edge. So if you measure from here to here, I have 27 and a half. Of course, and I will just cut out the half inch away. I've achieved my vertical length right now. So the next thing for me is to measure my circumference. Now for my circumference, I'll be making use of my round hip measurements. I will measure 14.25, place it on the edge here. Then you measure inward, okay? So this measurement here will be like a guide for you when you fold. All right, so I'm going to, you know, we have folded once then I, I will fold again okay so this is what i have now i'm going to repeat my measurements my circumference measurement which is 14.25 now i'm going to connect the point together All right, so now I'm going to repeat my vertical measurement, which is 27 inches. So this side, this pointed part, the folded part, is going to be where my neck will be located. So for my width, the width of my neck is 5 inches. So I measure 5 inches. Then... 5 inches by 4 inches. If it's short here, then it should be long, a little here. So I'm doing vice versa. Usually it's supposed to be 4 by 5 inches, but I prefer it to be 5 here and 4 here. So I'm going to connect. Okay, so that's that. And... For the ham hole, my ham hole is going to be here on this line. So my ham hole is going to be 11 inches. And the reason is because I'm a plus size person. So for a small size person, you can do nine and a half. For a medium size, you can do 10 or 10 and a half. I think 11 is not bad. 11 is fine for me. Okay, so this is what, this is where it would be, okay. Next thing for me is to cut the sleeve. Now, to, to know the measurement to cut for your sleeve, I mean the sleeve length now, of course, you are going to measure from nape of your neck down to your shoulder tip, down to 
where you want the sleeve to get to. Mine is 24 inches. 24 inches minus the circumference, 14.25. You remember that half an inch was added to it to make 14.25. Okay, so you are going to remove the half inch that was added. Okay, so if you remove the half inch, it will be 13.75. Okay, so 13.75 minus 24 inches. So whatever the value gives me, I'm going to add half an inch to it because I will use half an inch to join to the half an inch seam allowance that was added here. I hope you understand. For the hem, the hem of the sleeve, there's no need of any allowance because the salvage here is going to complete it. Okay, so I don't need to turn, I don't need to hem. So I just prefer this to be on the, on the hem, okay? So now, altogether, 24 minus 13.75. Whatever the value gives me, I'm going to add half an inch to it, and that will be what I'm going to cut, okay? So that is for the length. Here to here, you remember, is 11 inches for my ham hole here. So I'm, for on the sleeve, when I'm cutting it, I'll add half an inch to the 11 inches to make 11 and a half. So that half will be for the seam allowance. All right, so um, that 11 inches, I'm going to be folding it into two to make 22. Okay, 22 plus half plus half, that's 23. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So once, uh, let me just show you how to go about that, okay? I'm going to make sure that this beautiful salvage that the lace has is going to be on the hem of the sleeve, okay? So right now, I am going to measure from this point to this point, that's 11 and a half. Then fold it into two to make 11 and a half. On 11 and a half, that will be 23 altogether, okay? Just do it this way. I'll just measure 10.75 from here upward. I'm going to just bring the fabric and open up this way. So this is going to be for this. Can you see? This is going to be for this, okay? And this is going to be for the other side. So, so what I would do right now is to measure from here to here my 11 inches and hole and mark. Then, then I will sew from here down, okay? Then I can, instead of sewing down completely, you just measure from here to here, maybe like five inches and stop your stitching. So from here to here is where the stitch is going to cover. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do right now. Then I'll do for the other side as well. You back stitch once you get to like five inches or four inches above this point. That is here. Okay? So you do for the other side as well. Then I will now show you what to do next. I have cut out extension, the wrapper extension that you can use to tie easily when you tie your wrapper. Okay, so back to the sewing I have turned the edges of the wrapper and this is my extension so once you finish turning neatly the edges of your wrapper then you can add your extension to it this way okay and ensure you sew it all round just the way i am doing here all right so now i'm going to finish my neckline with a bias tape neatly and i have done it already so very neat all right, so next is to measure, of course, my ham hole and start sewing from the end of the ham hole down to five inches above the hemline of the boba. So, and this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so now I'm going to finish neatly the slits, you know, on the um, hemline of the boba. Just, just, just turn it, you know, neatly and sew it neatly as you can see and you have to do for both sides as well so this is this is the first part which represent probably the back or the front either one is okay so i'm going to turn to the other side it could be the back it could be the front the most important thing is that the two pieces the you know the front and the back must be neatly finished you know on the hemline and on the slit as well you 
you remember the allowance I added, the same allowance was half an inch. So you have to make it tiny so that the half an inch can be enough to turn. Just the way I'm doing right now. So here I'm going to just backstitch to secure properly. Now I want to say that I do not need a scarf. Okay, so if I need a scarf, I would have just removed about half yard or one inch from the five yard um, lace fabric that I have before you know using the rest to cut the boba and the wrapper okay so but here i can still manage the little fabric that is remaining as my scarf but usually i don't really tie scarf on lace i prefer the asho okay stuff okay so this is the um sleeve and here of course i have joined it so it has just one seam line so i'm just going to bring the boba and ensure that the seam line on the sleeve goes you know aligns with the seam line on the boba and once it aligns that way i'm going to be pinning round and sewing round so that's all i'm going to do for the boba the seam lines must match okay they must align properly So just pin round and once you finish pinning then you sew round as well you do on both sides okay so you have your sleeves attached properly all right now that i'm done attaching the sleeves i'm going to you know show you how it looks on me this is the outcome very beautiful and neat as well so you can overlock the raw edges in, in, in um, inside okay all right guys this is the outcome of the ramba thank you so much for watching bye for now